Hola. Hello, 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 bitches. Okay, wait. You could do better than that. What's up, Roscoe? Yeah. There we go. Hi. How excited are you to be back, Batty? I am so excited to be black. I mean, back. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. We, I'm telling you, you have no idea what has happened upstairs in the dressing room. We have, my stomach hurts from laughing. I don't even think I'm going to be able to eat tonight. But we have. You'll be able to eat, girl. We, you'll be, you're right. You're right. You know, she will go down. Um, we are going to have so much fun with you guys tonight. Are you guys ready to do this? All Look right, how guys, cute well, she looks tonight, though, by the way. Oh, thanks. I love it. I love There's lots of shirts tonight. I got a shirt on, too. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready to get this started? <laughs> you bitch. Uh, okay, so listen, we're going to get this started. <laughs> it's the truth. All right, ladies um, and gentlemen, if you will, who are we going to do first? Okay, I'll, I'll go with the first one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for... Well, they're all, all, all three people are iconic, so uh, who cares what season or what? <laughs> exactly. Let's just bring them out. Bring it up for Miss Monet Exchange! Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Pussy yes! cat meow meow meow! meow. <laughs> yes! Hi! Oh shit. Yeah. Now, nah, y'all ain't telling me this mass shit was going on up in here, bitch. Can you hear me? No, you can't hear me. Okay, I gotta do this. Okay. You gotta go under. All right. Hi, Chicago. How y'all doing? I haven't been here in so long, I forgot how beautiful the men are. Oh. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, keep that applause going for. Adore Delano! I feel like I'm on the set of like starships or something. I love this shit so much. We're gonna have fun. <laughs> Party. Party. All right, ladies, last but not least, give it up for Carson Crossley. Oh, hi, everybody. Hello, that's me. No, 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 please sit down. Sit down. <laughs> sit down. Oh, they don't have chairs. It's so hard with the mask on, but it's. I'm more attractive this way. Thank you. I'm cannot. taking her everywhere. She just laughs at everything I say. Fine, right, ladies and ladies, oh, yes, have a yes, seat. Yes, let's oh. sit, let's sit, let's sit. Oh. You get to sit, sit in the sit, campy sit, chair. Right here. Oh, this little chair for my big ass? Okay. <laughs> you get the cheap chair. To t- <laughs> I know, it's so vinyl-y. I feel I've never sat in anything like this. I find that hard to believe. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, All we right. do have a few announcements, obviously. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, our first one is please, please, please wear your mask. If you're not um, drinking or eating, just come on now. We don't want to get cited. Yay? Yes, we're going to get you. Bravo. Perfect. Um, tomorrow night, Naisha is going to be here with these lovely two gals. Yay. You want to tell them about it, Nay? Yes. Showtime is 10 p.m. Adore, Monet, and I will be performing tomorrow. I'm going to extend my trip. So, yes, so 10 p.m., please uh, be here. Um, It's going to be a lovely, lovely time. Wait, is Carson not doing the striptease number tomorrow? Uh, No, No, we had to cancel that. (laughs) No, the health department was here, Uh, and they said absolutely not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not while the discharge is happening. Got it, got it. It's all fun and games until the the CDC gets involved. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Got it. it. And then, of course, on Sunday, we have Roscoe's Britney Sunday. Yes. Yay. We have uh, DJ Riley York starting at 9 p.m. No cover all night long. So come by on Sunday for Britney Sunday. That's going to be a lovely, lovely time. We'll tell you next week's guests a little later. A little later. Yeah, we'll tell them a little later. Yeah. All right, guys. So uh, this is the UK. Are we excited about this season? What's up? What's going on? Give me the dirt. Oh, I'm very excited. I thought that la- the all seasons of the UK had been so good, and last season especially, season two, and uh, I'm very excited to see what the queens have in store for us this season. So, and I haven't seen it, so bring it on. Now, have you, did you ladies watch the first two seasons? 
Absolutely not. But you know what? That's not my fault. <laughs> it's because in the middle of the pandemic, I kind of like forgot to pay my bills, so I didn't have anything to do. You know, mm. so. But I heard it was really good. I, I, I like I tuned in here and there. And listen, the great thing about the internet today and Instagram, literally the whole fucking show is on Instagram. Okay, so I watched all the performances. I saw the fucking runways. I just didn't watch the thing from beginning to end. But. What I love about British queens, they are so irreverent. They don't care. They're not trying to put on any, they're like, they're being 100% authentically themselves. Whereas in America, we're like, I'm not mean. I'm just edited that way. And Lauren Shane is like, fuck yeah! You know, so I'm excited for that, for sure. I didn't see them either, but, um. <laughs> um but. I just got back from the UK and I worked with like most of them and I love um, Electra Fence and that's pretty much it. Um, no, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Most of them are really cool, but I really love Electra Fence. She was like opening for me on my door, so I'm really excited to see what she does. Oh, she's she's on this season. Yes. Oh, work. Electra Fence. Yes, and Victoria Scone. Victoria Scone. Yeah. yeah we've, got, we've got some real good names. Yeah. They no, do. we do. It, it looks like a very uh, diverse season. The first cisgendered. Drag oh my queen. God, yes. Yes. yes, she's That's on so here. Fair. So oh, yeah. excited to see that. So you know what? Why don't we just dive right into this? Are wait, we ready for this? Where, yes. where the cocktails oh, at? Oh, Gabo, oh, Gabo, yes. my love. Uh, I'm can, so can we get cocktails, Gabo? I would please? like a Don Julio with soda and a splash of lime. Please. And, and a, that, that's gonna be a double. Oh, and then, oh yeah. I'll have the same. And I'll just do a soda water with a splash of cranberry and a Red Bull, because I'm feeling really spicy today. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll have my usual. I'll have a water with a straw. <laughs> Love that. Oh, well, how come? Shut up. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. Y'all ready to see some UK? Yeah. All right, Mikey, let's do it. All right. All right. All right. So just a disclaimer, uh, you know, we're, we're building our own breaks into it, so I know it looks kind of weird and stuff like that, wow. but uh, so we're going to take a little break. Um, all right, guys, what do you guys think? Oh, can I just mention one thing? I know they're speaking English, but every oh. time I <laughs> watch this fucking show, I'm like, hey, they got the bond to pay to pick a pond stove, and I'm like... What are they saying? Girl. Like, I have, almost half of it, I have no idea what's going on. I have on. no idea. I'm like, are these motherfuckers from New Jersey? What is going on? <laughs> We're uh, working on the closed caption. Yeah, we need that. I mean, and also, Victoria Green, bitch, you got sent home for COVID. You're green. You're still sick, bitch. Go <laughs> home, okay? I, like, I went home because I'm sick, so I'm going to come back and paint green. I was right. <laughs> she makes me uncomfortable. I, I'm, I'm very confused. I want Charity Case to impregnate me ASAP. <laughs> the closed captions turn back on. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> Slow, slow, oh slow. God! That okay. was a very colorful and very different. Everyone's so different from each other. Right. Right? Yeah. I love that. I and love very that. fierce though. What a yes. cast! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're all so young. Like, yeah, this is fierce. Like two, two years? nineteen year olds. Two, yeah. two drag like two years, bitch. I've been doing drag for seventeen years, and holy shit! You yeah. know what I'm saying? Is that all? That's all, Mama. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I was hoping more of them would be like older, like like Detox's age. You know what I mean? To yeah. really like feel. <laughs> But no one. It really sucks. It really yeah. sucks. Yeah. <laughs> to really bring that seasoning, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Victoria Scone looks so fucking good. Yeah. Oh, so Doesn't good. Doesn't she? So For some iconic. reason, like, her presence, and I don't know, she just, she just, I just, she walked in and I felt like this bitch is gonna, is gonna be fierce. I don't and know, I don't know nothing about her, but she just felt great. And she's doing drag. Yeah, that was drag. Drag. So drag. Over it was, the I top. mean, the makeup, the yeah. body, I'm sure she's all bodied out, everything, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. her nails, everything. Like, yeah. she full on, yeah. It's and she fierce. sings her ass off, too. She's oh, like, does she? Yeah, she's a beautiful Ooh. singer. Spoiler alert. Like, like, even her presence, because, like, I met her a couple of times, like, her energy is, like, a natural star. Like, she just doesn't even, like, try, and you're like, wow, who are your parents and how'd they birth you? You know what I mean? Like, you just want to know where she comes from. So, naturally, who who is a standout for you guys? Oh, I like the the one from Spain. 
Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, yes, yes. She yes. has that 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 candor yeah. that you were talking about. Uh -huh. Teresa May, that's her oh, name. Oh, is it Teresa? Yeah, Teresa. <laughs> oh, yeah, like Chorita. the Spanish sausage. Yeah, like the sausage. That's yeah. why she talk about her boyfriend Duh. dick. I love her. And honestly, best line of the night, my favorite thing about Newcastle is my boyfriend's dick. I was like, girl. <laughs> <laughs> that was my the best. Which is weird, because my favorite thing about Newcastle is her boyfriend's dick, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same. It's really good, Isn't right? Weird? It's really we good. I love it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's a sight to see, I guess. Adore, did you have a standout? Yeah, I like Charity Case. Which way? Wait, wait, who was wait, which one's Charity That's Case? That's that zombie Choose one. Zombie okay, one. Yeah. Call oh. me a chair, Delano, and sit on my fucking face. <laughs> wow. So hot, so gorgeous. Love her. Love Char her and her confessional. Charity Face. Charity face, mm -hmm. yes. Who else? Also, that like 19, and I, I hate doing this because I always talk about this. But you know, it, it gives me very Aquaria. The oh, yeah. year, the young, baby. She's plucked is that and the Versace white queen. one. I'm like, yeah, Versace. It's gonna be very name, that. Like, Crystal Versace. You know, be, but is she gonna suck into acting and shit? You know yeah. what I mean? We'll see. We'll see. TBD. Not the most inventive name either. Sorry. What's, what is it? What Crystal? Is it? Crystal Versace. Oh. Yeah. Hey, you know what? That's like one of my favorite perfumes. Uh, Versace. Versace, um, Bright Crystal. Is, it, is that what it's called? It, it, yeah, it's, oh, is that that is Bright Crystal, called? I think. Yeah, yeah that was bright my first crystal. Bright. Oh, Bright Crystal. Mm -hmm. I, I want don't all know stars. what the kids I can't are doing. Versace, bitch. <laughs> I <laughs> stole <laughs> it from Macy's. Sure did. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like all my 20s problems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are the standouts. I can't think of who else is the standout to me. Oh. Those were like the ones Here's I can Here's the remember. list, babe. Look at the list. Because there's uh, oh, at the bitch, bottom. I, don't, I don't know their names. I don't the mail. God damn it. Anubis. I couldn't believe she was only 19 when she walked yeah. in. And I cannot like, oh, believe. Okay. Yeah. Which one is Anubis? She I was, don't know. She the 19-year-old. The, the Egyptian the one. Other. There were like eight 19-year-olds, bitch. Yeah, but <laughs> she this was one. the half Egyptian 19-year-old in like the oh, wig yeah. that oh. looked like a French poodle. Yeah, I didn't like and her. And the deconstructed flag. She was whack, right? Am I crazy? Am I right? I'm like, uh, I didn't love the. I didn't hat. get it. And I didn't like the texture of overweight. the hair. I didn't. I didn't yeah, get. I didn't it was either. so much going on. But yeah, yeah, I agree. Can you tell how excited we are about this? Because <laughs> We We're, have not stopped listen, talking. Listen, at this point, there are 47 seasons of Drag Race a year, okay? We're going to be a little nitpicky about what we like and what we know. Right, all right? Yeah. Is that cool with y'all? Yeah. yeah. The, exactly. the saturation is high. Yeah. Um, River Medley is dope, too. The one from Kent, she's really, really... And she makes all of her wigs by hand, which I love. Yeah. And, like, she I makes love that you River know Medley? which ones they are, because yeah, I still don't know which one that is. Which, which she's an Asian that one? girl. That she's oh, the the list. Okay. Yeah. oh, yes, I did like that. Yeah, I yeah. She, and she, she makes crazy. most of the girls on this season's wigs, too. They just no, don't she does say not. it. Yeah, I, I heard some tea, too. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Let's hope she goes far. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, give me back my fucking hair, you fucking bitch. <laughs> did you imagine? <laughs> on set. Okay. All right, guys, so we just got I'm into ready. the season. We're going to go back to the show, and then okay. we're going to ask questions. You know, to you guys, we want to know about what's going on with you guys and stuff like that. Because love her we do have, you know, we like, we like to get personal with our guests and get the dirt and all that good mm -hmm. stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and go right back to the UK. Badoonch. Thank God, captions. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <Ooh>, Mexican. <laughs> Is this in German? Her Majesty. You're fucking kidding me right now. All right, this. I mean, they live. <laughs> what you it's a fucking roller coaster already. They have you crying and everything already. I know. I'm like over here tearing up, girl. I'm like, <laughs> like three episodes already. <laughs> yeah, whoa. Jesus. I'm so glad for the subtitles now. I know what's going on. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I was pretty excited about them in like German or whatever at first. I, I was know. Like, oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was so nice for all the Germans that live in Chicago, but I thought that's a bit much. I know right it's very home. German here, but oh really. My God. So before we get into uh, the episode or whatnot, um, talk to me, ladies. What uh, what are you guys doing? What projects do you have going on and what's going on right now? We'll start with you, Monet. Oh, well, um, I am just rarely living my life with the Sibling Rivalry Podcast. Oh. So... But during the pandemic and um, it's during season 13 and um, Legendary, we, we used to do two episodes a week, but there hasn't been any Drag Race and I was away for the summer. So now we're going to be doing uh, so RuPaul's Dra I mean, Sibling Watchery for all for this Drag Race UK okay. starting this Monday. So if you're not following Sibling Rivalry, we start with two episodes this week. Now, 
So earlier today, I went on live and I was asking people, oh, give me questions to ask the ladies and whatnot. And one of the questions was, how did you and Bob meet? Oh, I met Bob. So, they, so in New York City, who was, who was ever partied in New York City like back in the day? Anybody? Oh. Carson. <laughs> Way so, back, way back. <laughs> There's this club called The Ritz, and Bob used to perform there. And one night, it was like 2012, I was going out to, to live my life. Now, this is before I even knew where makeup was. I, like, I went that day, right? I went to the, to, to, to the Mac in Times Square. I was like, they're like, I'm like can I have some makeup, please? And they're like, what do you want? I'm like, makeup. <laughs> so I got like Studio Fix foundation and like a feline coal liner and bitch, Ruby Woo red lipstick, okay, bitch? <laughs> And I went to the club like that, a full drag bitch looking busted as fuck. But to be fair, Bob looked very similar. You know what I mean? Even though he had been doing it for about five years at that point. So we connected on that level of having kindred uh, makeup skills and spirits. And he had some perform there. And he was just such, a, such an amazing performer. And he kind of like took me under his wing and taught me how to sew. <laughs> Sponge dress, you know, and from there we just became really good friends. So, so watching him perform in New York City, yeah. we we developed, developed your chemistry together. together is absolutely amazing. You would think you guys know each other your entire lives. It's pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah. It's pretty awesome Thank to you, watch. Idea. How about you, Ador? What's going on with you? What projects? What are we doing? I'm just playing in the studio lately, you know, just trying to get like my vibes going, and I really want to adopt a cat. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would keep going back and forth like with a dog or a cat, and I keep watching like TikToks about dog owners and cat owners. So if you have any input, I'll see you outside later. <laughs> but I haven't just been chilling in the studio, just like writing about heartbreaks and, you know, milkshakes. <laughs> but yeah, cool. Well, we're excited to new music, yes? Yeah, of course. Like, give, us, give us a timeline, like somewhat of a timeline. What do you think? Oh, it has to be next year. I don't know what the fuck is going to happen next week and yeah. this year. Like, <laughs> it has to be, you know, 2022. I feel okay. it's a good vibe. Okay. Well, we're excited for it. We yeah. now, I have to, can I say something? I have said this in many interviews. Your fucking last project oh. was, is one of my favorite albums to ever come and not not just on some drag shit but really? like just the raw emotion bitch and you are singing your fucking face off bitch. you better so, stop yeah, I, try, I, try, for it. I try to release that real under the radar too no, and just it's not really let anybody I love it so much thank bitch. you yeah <laughs> <laughs> well one of the questions that they kept asking me they're like you have to ask for this I'm scared so they want to know what was this talent that did not get approved that you were going to do at All Stars that they said no to. For All Stars 6? Yeah, what, what, what was, tell us that whole thing. What, what went down? I really don't want to tell it because I feel like somebody's going to steal it. Oh. And okay. you know what's funny? I'm finding this gorgeous ensemble that I'm wearing today. I was going through my closet. <laughs> had to dust off these old boots here. Um, no, but I was going through my closet and I found part, part of the talent and I was just like, oh, that would have been so fun. But... No, I can't say. Okay, okay I will. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, I spit fire, and a lot of people don't know that, but before, no. but before drag, I used to spit fire in my backyard and almost like burn my mom's house down. Um, but I was going to spit fire and break fake um, beer bottles on my head. So I had ordered like these beer bottles and I ran into the, they're like sugar, uh, sugar cane bottles. Oh or yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, and they're all like, they had like the Budweiser labels. Um, they even set a door on them. It looked so cool. So like I had, I, I had ran into them in my closet like two nights ago and I was like, wow, that would have been so cool. So please don't steal that anybody. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. I see you with your phone out. Fucking up. <laughs> <laughs> I read it. So since you brought up All Stars, if the opportunity were to present itself, would you do it? If um, they ask you? I would never say never because Justin Bieber, but um, I feel like... I feel like um, right now is just not it. I feel like I need to be a mother to a kitten first and just really, like, open my horizons. No, really, honestly, I don't feel like it's the right time. But, like, I Absolutely. will never say never. I mean, yeah. Totally understandable. Uh, so, Carson... Yeah. Yes. What's going on with you, love? What are your projects and oh. what's going on with you? You said you spit fire? I do. Oh, I swallow it. That's do so you? weird. Um, does it burn going uh, down as it does coming up? It does. A and going out. Uh, what am I doing? Well, there's all sorts of... Um, uh, you guys know from being in the Drag Race family that there's things going on that we can't talk about, but there's yeah. great things happening. Um, what else is going on? Um, if you like food, do you all eat? 
I ordered some pretzel sticks. I was like, we can't eat in front of the people. Literally, I was like, like, oh no, bitch, we I was, eat. I was like, I can't have a corn bite in front of all these people, but I'm going to. And um, but I, I have this show on Food Network called Barbecue Brawl. We did two seasons, and we have some new drag race stuff that I can't talk about. And um, I just finished a holiday movie that's coming out. Ooh, um, love. You're an actress. And, um, I'm, you know, an amateur. I'm a stay-at-home actress. <laughs> and, um, and reality star. And, um, and that's it. I'm so glad to My be in Chicago. Ring. Um, because everyone is so cute and so nice. It's like New York, but with nice people. Okay. And they still have a sax and all the stuff that you need. Um, the weather is a little dodgy. I'm not going to lie about that. And, um, yeah, it's so good. I'm so glad to be here. And I'll be doing an after show at Nuts on Clark. Yeah. Um, so see me there. And then after, after Nuts on Clark, I'll be at the Piggery. Which is yes, on. that's good. Yeah, it's is good. that good? Oh, you gotta go to the bigger. I, I love the name. <laughs> it's good. I almost bent over when I drove by it. Um, is so, that a real place? The yeah, piggery. Yes! The piggery. It's, it's all pork. Something girl. village it's so road. Good. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's all pork all, all the time. <laughs> Bitch, fuck that. I'm going to Steamworks. Okay, I don't got yeah. time. <laughs> I want to go right to the source, bitch. Okay? <laughs> Give me five right here, they've, please. They've oh, opened God. a Steamworks at the Piggery. Yeah, it's like an in-shop boutique. Okay. <laughs> so let me ask you, Carson. One of the questions that they, they uh, asked, which was, it's a pretty good one. Um, oh, here come so, my corn bites. This, uh, <laughs> oh, those, are oh, those are for the other people. Oh, what did you get? Is that just French fries? Oh, no, no. I'm going to save my calories for corn. Uh, but thank you. So the question was, has there ever been an elimination that you're sitting there at the table and you completely disagree with? Oh, my God. And if you have, which one? Carson, you don't have to say me. You don't, you don't have to say me, okay? Isn't you that such a me. good question? Yeah, That's a great that one. Is, that is. Ooh. Um, hmm. Those are very, very rare. Um, and I don't, the thing is about judges is that we don't see the whole thing. Like we just see what's on the runway, which I think is good because we're hired to give our opinion on what, what the task was and how the Queens executed the task. Um, so sometimes there's some backstory that we don't know about and that might affect like the overall decision. So let's go with that. <laughs> Um, uh, was that a, you didn't answer I mean, that question. Guys, did he answer the question? You did not answer. Uh, in question and answer, you get a zero, bitch. I feel like one of those so White House is, press This is what we'll do. We'll bring you a couple shots, and we'll revisit the question later. Yeah, is that no. okay? Talk, <laughs> ask me that at Nuts on Clark. <laughs> I love that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go right back to the UK. <laughs> wow. I love that they were able to give us two runways and not just one. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So who were your standouts, guys? Oh, hold on. Let me enjoy one of my pretzel sticks. <laughs> Everybody watch this. <laughs> They're delicious. And so fulfilling. Carson, you've done that before, haven't you? I'm very Baby. lonely. <laughs> I'm... I'm Listen, I'm just hoping that someone on YouTube creates a meme with oh, that. Oh, there will be a meme <laughs> from that. I'll it's see you at Nuts on Clark. It's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so standouts for you guys. What do you guys mm. think? Charity case. Same. Charity for case. sure. For sure. Which one was Charity case? The last the one. one. The, the spooky one. Oh, one. She scares me, and I'm going to have nightmares about her, but she's cool. I'm yeah. so turned on. <laughs> like, I'm seriously like, oh, my gosh. I'm just obsessed with Charity case right now. Mm -hmm. Can I also mention one other thing? The pretzel sticks come with a cheese caddy, which is so lovely. We don't have this in New York or L.A., so count your lucky stars you live in Chicago. I'm moving. Who else was good? Uh, the, I like the first look of the Crystal, Aquarium Crystal, one. Crystal. Crystal, Crystal Versace. Versace. Yeah. yeah. Listen, that face, that face of her. Stunning. Bitch, she thing. uses clown white in the center, bitch, and just, it is correct. It, she is right. fucking Stunning. beautiful. She's beautiful. I love Chorisa, too. Yes. Yeah, she's fine. Yes. So good. Yeah, and the fact and that she, she painted that. Mm -hmm. She painted the whole thing. Oh, it. That's yeah. wild. And also, yeah, we heard that. Um, the scone woman. 
Victoria. Victoria. Yeah, with I, don't, I, I don't remember her. Wait, 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 wait. She did the Lee Bowery like tea caddy. Oh, yes. That was so good. That was I really love like that she table. knows Lee Bowery. Yeah. And anytime you're watching the show, I love when people have references that yeah. are um, uh, related to queer history. I think yeah. that's so important, and it's one of the great educational benefits of the show, which is very educational. I mean, I didn't go to high school, but I watched the show, and <laughs> I feel like I know a lot of stuff now. But I thought that was a great... I like when a look has a historical reference yes. or a story, and it's not just, like, a penis popping out of a... I mean, I like that, too. I'm not yeah, going to say, where's my pretzel stick? <laughs> Did you get that for the meme, the attractive person with the smile Yeah, he and is the very flag. attractive. Is that, is that, is this, are, are the three of y'all a fucking thruple? That's a, I'll see you at the oh thruple. God. We're going to meet at the piggery. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, well, that what's goes the other over one? so well there. Slap on my nuts. What's the other bar? Nuts on my face. What is it? Nuts, nuts on, on Clark. Clark. Oh, nuts. Okay, yeah. Nuts on my face. May oh, contain Clark. nuts on Clark. How is your um, chicken finger I am, fiesta? I am having a time over here. Oh, Seth. it looks so lovely. I love it. If people have chicken fingers, pretzel bites, Did mac anyone... and cheese bites. Adora's like, I'll have some cucumber she had and celery. Vegetables. <laughs> yeah. Well, I also not, not only do I want a cat, I want a bunny. So I'm just practicing to see if this is like sustainable for my pet bunny daughter. I want a German. No one. Sustainable animal. eating. Yes, yes, yes. So, Monet, I heard, were you in Puerto Rico recently? Oh, bitch, I was recently in Puerto Rico, girl. Let me tell you something, okay? Now, I am a very big fan of foreskin. However. Mm. Me too! <laughs> there was none in Puerto Rico. No. I said, what is going on? And That's I did shocking. the groundwork, okay, bitch? I was club, club, another back room, another orgy, yeah. another one. There was no foreskin to be found in Puerto Rico. I was very offended. Earth? I was very upset. I was like, I chose this place for a fucking reason, okay, bitch? Right. I wanted to suck a dick and choke on the skin, okay? <laughs> and there was, I was like, and, and, and I think guys got offended because that would be the first thing, you know, we would, be, you, we would be getting to know each other, preferably with me on my knees first. Yeah. And then I will pull out the dick. I'm like, what's going on? Monet. <laughs> well, actually, more, it'll be like, zip, zip, zip. Girl. I think you <laughs> And then I'll have to ask them to leave, and I'll try to find somebody else. Maybe Chicago will surprise you. I, no, Chicago you know? always surprises. Chicago always yeah. comes through, okay? Yeah. So if you happen to be harnessing a fucking Sharpay in your pants mm -hmm. tonight, I am staying at a hotel that I will disclose to you if you send me a pic of your dick in my DM, and we'll work it out, okay? Does it rhyme with Shampton him? <laughs> <laughs> no, it rhymes, it rhymes with... Main Aegis Mohel. Uh, no. Right. No? I haven't had sex in like two and a half years. Isn't that crazy? No. I don't even know what a penis looks like. I'm not sure I even like him anymore. I'm just like, <laughs> that's why I think I... Yeah! Word. I just want a cat real bad. <laughs> <laughs> she lost me on that one. And a built up girl. <laughs> and a bunny. A bunny. Yeah. Puerto Rico was but besides the lack of foreskin, did you enjoy Puerto Rico? I did. Puerto Rico is very beautiful. The beaches yeah. are fucking stunning, mm -hmm. and we, we, me and my friend, we just party. We were like, and everyone was so warm in Puerto Rico. Like, bitch, I would go to someone's like a, a small bar or like a little restaurant, and bitch, you're fucking family. It was, I've never been to Puerto Rico before. It was great. I had a great time. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no. Wait, wait, where, where the chicken finger? You done with the chicken finger? Where they going? <laughs> Gabo, they no, just still having a the pretzel chicken. stick. I only have a couple of them. Got it. Yeah. Oh, are you done with your fried assortment already? <laughs> Girl. She told you she cleaned up, bitch. Okay. Carson, what is your favorite thing about judging and your least favorite thing about judging? Oh, gosh, that's a great question. My favorite thing, um, well, we see great drag. I mean, the, the queens that have come through the doors of RuPaul's Drag Race have been phenomenal. Every single person in their own unique way. Um, so we get to see a great show every time we show up at work. Um, and we get, get paid, paid for to do it, which is great. Um, and then um, also the family and the kinship with Rue and Michelle and Ross. I mean, we really do have a great time um, working together. And, and anybody who's been around Rue, I mean, you guys know because you've been on the show, um, Rue has an energy that is like, um, I don't know, like I feel like it's very like, sh like Oprah has that same of an enlightened kind of person. And when you're around that um, type of person, it's very impactful 
and it's a wonderful experience just to be in the same room. And that sounds very like worshipy, but um, Rue is a very special person, and it's great to you know work with someone like that. Least favorite. Um, I don't want to say where we film, but it is a little bit off the beaten track. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I don't want a security risk, but I'm just like, really? Out here? Um, so sometimes um, the commute's a little annoying, but yeah. everything else is a dream. World of Wonder is so great to work with. The queens are amazing. We have a great cast. We have an amazing crew. How great is the crew? They are. A lot of foreskin there. It's a very lot, rare. That's it's a lot of foreskin there. That's what I hear. Yeah. Five skin. It's so Mitch. long. Um, it's great. They're great. But I don't know. And, uh, you know, because of SAG after of rules and anti harassment, I can't comment. I'm going to have a pretzel stick. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, no gag reflex, you know? Oh, my God. Just went we're, to the We're going to let him eat his pretzel sticks. We're going to go back to the show. Let's go back to the show. <laughs> All right. Did you, do you guys agree <clears throat> with. Uh, you guys agree? Yes? Kind of? The... Yeah? What about you guys? Oh, I agree. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, there's going to be some tops and bottoms up in here. And, uh, <laughs> but I think we know which way it's going. Yeah. Okay, to be very honest, I am a little drunk. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> Those doubles, bitch, they sneak up on you in fucking Chicago, girl. Well, That's well, why I said, Ador, give me some celery. Let me just get this water in here. And we haven't even done our, like, group shot. We still got to do a group shot. Oh, look, I'm yeah. high on these breadsticks yeah. and that cheese <laughs> sauce. No, no, no. I think, Ooh, I, I, girl, I, think, I feel so fulfilled. I agree for the most part. I think that Victoria Scone really turned it. I think Crystal Versace really did a great job. And the, the bitch on the end with the, the candy girl with the with the thing girl. Electric chop, fence. Go home. Electric. You're yeah. done. And then the other one, um, the one before her. <laughs> the one that was talking about her dad? River Med River Medway. No, not River Medway, the one next to River Medway. Oh. Chop too. That one. The one <laughs> next to River Medway. Oh, Anubis. Anubis. Go home. Yeah, we're no, done. We're done. Thank we're, you. We're, that was a chop. chop. Anubis. We're done. <laughs> It's a novice for me. Um, <laughs> I agree. Strongly. Strongly. Carson, have you ever had yes. someone come out on the runway and you're like, what the fuck is it? Like completely just like. Many times. <laughs> Many times. There was this bitch who wore a sponge dress. <laughs> and I was like, what? No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> Come on, crowd! No, there are there are moments, and Monet was definitely not one of them. Uh, she's bigger than me. Uh, um, there are bigger, just some I'm moments, fast, you. but don't you think? As and you guys know because you've been on the show, sometimes you think like a look is really really great, and then you get there and the competition is different than what you... Like, you think in your world, it was so great and it played in the club and you're like, this is amazing on me. And then you get there and it's like, oh, these bitches are like for, dressed for Mardi Gras My and I came life. for like lunch at the plaza. Like, yeah. sometimes you're just wearing the wrong look for the category yeah. and you're just blown away. But the queens that slay the competitions are the ones that take those notes and are like, oh, I know how to fix that. I'm going to do this next time. And those are the ones that stay and go through the competition. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're about to see someone lip sync, right? So do you guys have any favorite lip syncs? Ooh, I mean, fucking, we all know this. Fucking, um, 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 season four. This will be, uh, 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 uh. Dita Ritz. Dita Ritz. Dita Ritz. That is one of the greatest lip syncs the show will ever fucking see, girl. It's so good. Oh, shut um, up and shut up and drive. I think was that Brooklyn yes. Heights. Alyssa and Tatiana. Oh, Alyssa and Tatiana, yeah. so good. Um, I, I like the one with Raven. No, was it Raven? No, it wasn't Raven. It was Juju B and no, Raven? was it? Yeah, no. it was Raven and Juju B. Wasn't that? When no, they, Carmen, they did. They Carmen did. and Raj. Was it Raj? Carmen and Raja. Yeah. The kissing. The kissing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Batty, do you have a favorite one that you've seen? Like that you're like, oh, I kind of live for that one. No, I don't. I just. <laughs> I mean, 
I live for them. I live for them in the moment. Like, I don't think I've ever gone back. The only one I've ever went back and watched and rewatched over and over was when Roxy was the lip sync assassin. Thick and juicy. Oh, that was yeah. A good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was, so that, I was like, holy shit. And I when, she did, when she did the wig change for the, that one was yeah. the nice. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, where she <laughs> took <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, did Brooklyn. Who did Brooklyn uh, lip sync? Oh. Evie. What, that, that was a good one. Yeah, right? that was yeah, a that very was a good really, one. Really, really good one. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. like that one. I liked Valentina because she was ahead of the time with the mask. She like totally. <laughs> kind of like knew so like something was brewing and about to happen yeah. in two years and was yeah. like, no, you guys listen to my cue. Let's keep the mask on. <laughs> I I so think she look- knew too much. <laughs> That's yeah. why she got eliminated. She started it. <laughs> yeah, they're like, you know too much. Get out of here. For sure. <laughs> Sure. Now, t- we've all been there. Tell tell us about the mood because isn't it like this like daunting mood as soon as someone starts to lip sync? I don't think the audience really knows oh. how dramatic it really is. You know what's really scary? And just as a judge, when you're sitting there, when you hear that clack clack clack, there's yeah. like a countdown where they give you these like clack 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 sounds before you like then the song starts on the fifth clack. Yeah, and I'm even like ready to throw up, and I don't even have to do it. Yeah. I'm just I'm just watching, you know, in this place in the valley. Um, <laughs> For y'all who don't know, so so for the listening songs, they put like a click track before, so that you're not surprised by it. So it goes, it's, it's, it's eight click tracks. So you're like, <laughs> then you go. So it's that. So that is the thing. It's very scary. You're like, oh shit, here it is. Here it is. It's about to happen. Yeah. Yeah, like every, and oh, huh? oh, isn't it also um, scary though? And this is more for you guys, but. Like, when the judge is, like, someone that you idolize. Like, when it, not me, but, like, um, I don't know, like, if it's Olivia Newton-John or Chloe it's, like... Chloe Kardashian. Um, I don't, yeah, somebody. Well, I will say, and so when I did Pound the Alarm, when I did that lip sync with Dusty, season 10, uh, the, the, the Pound the Alarm, the Nicki Minaj one. Oh, my God, thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, you're like an angel in soccer shorts. <laughs> Thank you so much. So that week, the guest judge was Tichina, um, um, Tisha, Tisha, Tisha Campbell Martin, who is Gina from the show Martin, okay? And I, right. I grew up on fucking Martin, right? So what y'all don't know is that I've told this story here before with that day, because I was the first one to get critiqued. So I got my critiques, and I'm like, oh, shit, I'm in the bottom, whatever. And then in that, af- after it was done, I went up to the next I'm like, oh, shit, I have to pee. I was like, I can hold it. I can hold it. It'll be good. You weren't there that day. I think it was Ross's mm. day. So I was there. I don't there. remember. <laughs> Damn, double homicide. Okay, good. No, that's um, because I wasn't there. So that makes perfect sense. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, sitting there, going, there, going, there, going, and I'm like, I have to pee. So when I get to the second to last person, Miss Cracker's the last person, whoever was before Miss Cracker, I was like, I can't hold it anymore. So while Rue was about to go on to Miss Cracker, I'm like, Rue, I'm sorry, I gotta go. I had to pee, bitch. I start peeing on myself on stage, and I run to the back. Did you? You never heard about this? I, oh, I pissed myself on stage in front that's of one so of my idols. Hot. Tisha. <laughs> That's I mean, everything. So that's was, crazy. Was, um, it was so because I was so I, I knew I was lip syncing, so all those thoughts in my head. I'm like, I'm lip syncing. I have to pee, and I haven't had dick in four weeks now. This is <laughs> terrible. No foreskin for four weeks. It was horrible. So that was my. That was, it was a very scary moment for mm. me. So we have to tell you, we had someone here earlier, like a few weeks ago. <laughs> I was like, Tisha Campbell and, Martin. No, no, wait, wait, no. And uh, it was the episode that. Uh, um, uh, she pooped her stuff. Eureka. Uh, Eureka pooped herself. Yeah. Uh-huh. The, where she was talking, you know, the episode. Oh, the story. The yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. She pooped herself. Uh-huh. So we had a guest here that day, and they're like, oh my God, I have the best story. Oh, maybe I shouldn't tell it. No, Monet says it all the time. I'm going to tell it. And she told us that whole that story. I sh- who yeah. was the guest? <laughs> who was it? Who told Who's us that my business? Yeah. Who uh, was it? It was, oh, it was Blair. Yeah, it Blair was Blair. Blair told it us. was Blair. Yes. Fuck that skinny white that bitch. That was I the hate one, her. That was the See, one thing she said when she was here. This is why we don't yeah. trust white people, okay? <laughs> Because they will come to Roscoe's and tell everybody your business, okay? <laughs> and when I see her in D.C. and I punch her, her pussy, she's going to be real yeah. mad. <laughs> she was really talking shit. She lives it's, in Indiana now. It, it's the one story she told us the whole time she was here. <laughs> the one Damn. story, literally. <laughs> oh, Blair. <laughs> So yeah, she did, and it was so funny because we asked her, like, give us an embarrassing story of yourself, and she's like, well, I'll tell you one about Monet. <laughs> I love that you peed yourself. That's iconic. I always wanted to pee myself to Oops, I Did It Again by Britney Spears. 
and the club that I worked at in Orange County would never let me do it. I just wanted to wear like a red like nylon bodysuit and just be like, oh yeah. And then just like have like piss just coming down slowly and just having people like slowly realize that you're actually peeing yourself. Right. Iconic. That would also so good be luck. good with Lady Gaga's rain on me. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yes. Just or another idea. Or You're Bobby welcome. Bobby Trice and Don't Rain on My Parade. Could you imagine? Mm-hmm. Don't mm-hmm. rain on my puppy. <laughs> purple Rain. rain. Yes, yes, we can do that. Purple, purple Rain. rain. Yes. Yeah, the direction that. of this conversation Don't go has chasing gone waterfalls. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Stick to the lakes and the rivers All right, you're used yes, to. You, you do. All right, let's get back to this and see who's going <laughs> to lip sync for this. Who's going to do Who's lip syncing? <laughs> All right, well, I want to see how that turns out. Um, Okay, so before we get into your reactions of who went home and who was on the bottom, all that good stuff, uh, I want to announce that next week's guests are Scarlet Envy and uh, Olivia Lux. So make sure to join us next week uh, for a viewing party of the second episode, and then, of course, perform- followed by performances on Friday. And right. it's Pride next week. Oh, yeah. We, oh, yes. yeah. we have another oh God, Pride have for the back for 40th that. time this year, girl. So, for those of you that don't know, uh, our Pride got canceled and rescheduled and all that. So, our Pride Fest, which usually happens in June, will actually happen next week. It's outside, nice stage, all that good stuff. So, you can join us over at Pride Fest. Batty and I will be hosting on behalf of Roscoe's on Sunday at the main stage. We'll be there for a little while. Yep. Yep. Yes. Cool. All right. So, what did you guys think about um, those lip syncs and the final results? Bitch with the bottom mm. two queens. I said, you know it's serious when a white bitch gets on international internet and gives you some Africa. She said, ha, 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 She ha. did. I thought, it's serious, bitch. We're not going home. <laughs> I lived. I and lived. I love that Victoria Scone, but that bitch didn't know the words, At girl. All. She didn't. No. Gotta know. She, she was not a Bonnie Tyler fan. Not big in the UK. What did you think, Adore? No, I knew Electra Fence was gonna go crazy because, like, I didn't know, like, what she was about. And when I saw her perform, I was like, holy shit, this little firecracker. But, um, no, I, I mean, I love that she, like, got to stay because she's yeah. such a cute little pocket rocket. She is her. adorable. I know. So, let me ask you guys this. Watching this lip sync, right? You had two completely different approaches to the lip sync, right? What do you guys appreciate more, especially you, Carson, that you're a judge? Oh. The lip sync when they're like on the words and just giving you lip sync or yes. all the dramatics. What are you re- and the tricks, the splits? Uh, the, all I think that. you need to deliver both. I think at this point in the competition, if you are on RuPaul's Drag Race, I don't care if you're on like America, UK, Zimbabwe. Uh, <laughs> we have. I'm hosting that one. Are you? I heard that. I saw that on Deadline. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Oh Congratulations. Man. Thank you. Um, you need to really, at this point, it needs to be flawless. And you, you know, you're given, what do you get? A day? I don't even know. A day. And the funny thing is that because this one, they probably had, they had to learn two in a day. Right. Well, two days. They yeah. had two songs. But you didn't know, you know if you were hopefully it's an iconic song that you kind of already know. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and let's get a camera, part. a picture oh, really a quick. Picture? Everyone look at Sean really oh, wait, fast. One, on. two, three. I'm, smi- I'm smiling. All right, sorry, Y'all sorry. Y'all the pictures when we all fucked up. This is shady. <laughs> <laughs> so they need to bring their A game and they need to absolutely know every lyric to that song. And then the tricks go on top of that. Yeah. And I appreciated the, um, the Electra Fence girl who was really, you know, giving that physicality on top of knowing the words mm-hmm. to seal the deal because she was fighting for her life there. And, and I thought with the other lip sync, w- the winners one. I Crystal, thought, right. Yeah, they both right. approached it pretty good. Like yeah. it was kind of, but it was kind of, it was all right. It was okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. the song was right. obviously different there. You right, know? It was right, two right, different, right. Different, different. Yeah. Oh, did someone buy us? So movies? I wanted to I mean, remind shots? you guys that we do have a link up um, on the Roscoe's website for you guys to get your tickets for next week um, viewing parties. So that's uh, live and up was and working. Check. So. If you want to get your tickets, go ahead and do so. That is available. This is not your first time. <laughs> Am I the only one that thinks that Crystal's giving like baby Raven vibes, like in the face? You think? Like with you know the makeup? I think, it, I think it's that brow, because you know that. It's the nose like, contour. It's the face. Yeah. It's the lips for me. It's just you know good I mean? makeup. My yeah. God, it's beautiful yeah. makeup. It's 
Thank it, you. It gives I just, me, you know. And the reason it gives me Aquaria is not because she looks like Aquaria. It's because it's that whole young and ahead of her time and just yeah. knows her shit at a young confidence. age. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, confidence. And that confidence, she's like, I, I know what I'm doing. And Drag race, but she needs to be old. careful you know I mean? to not be like super cocky about right, it, too. Right, totally. There's totally. a fine line. Honestly, I like a bitch that's cocky and they know it and they're good. I'm like, uh, I want to come now. <laughs> you know, when you like cocky and you're good and you know it, I'm like, uh, you know? I mean, that's just me. No, she knows. She it. does know it. She does. So, right now, um, I guess we're going to take this yeah, little shot. First of all, I just want to bought these for us. Um, we want to say thank you to Bridget, Megan, and Devin, wherever you guys Where are. Where are you? Oh, over there. Oh, thank there you, you guys, guys so much are. for the shots. We thank appreciate you. Thank it. you guys. Where are y'all shots? Y'all don't got thank shots. You. Where y'all shots at? Where is your guys? Did you guys? In this? Oh, oh, y'all did it already. I don't know. I can't wait to see you put your tongue in that, though, bitch. This is just from a stranger. Don't do this. I mean, I've done things I found in a baggie stuck to my shoe. <laughs> I have. I cannot. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is the part of the show where we uh, we're gonna take questions from our audience. Mm. Love questions. Um, so do we have? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, let, let me check my contract. Maybe that, make sure that's in there. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. We can do it. We can do it. Oh, are you gonna go out and Sally Jesse Raphael? Yeah, we're <laughs> totally. I'm totally going to do that. Um, okay, so we'll start right here. Uh, your name and then question. My name's Luke, and my question's for Carson. Yes. Um, I, so I remember whenever I was young, um, watching Queer Eye with my mom whenever I was a kid. Right. And this is less of a question, more of a like you know statement, but. I think you're an amazing person and an icon for the queer community. And I'm curious how it was kind of breaking into reality television being, I mean, for me, one of the first queer people I saw on television, how that was for you. Thank you. Um, that is so nice. Um, you can applaud, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, stop. Um, you know, honestly, um, doing Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, the original, and most of you are so young, um, but it was in 2003, which we're going to have our 20th anniversary like in two years. Yeah. I don't do math. Um, but um, w we had no idea that it was going to be like, you know, like groundbreaking or like a cultural thing. Um, I was just like, oh, this would be a cute gig. And um, we didn't really even know. And I remember like even like I wasn't completely out. Shocker. And my mom was like, what's the name of this show you're working on? I'm like, I don't really know yet. I'm like, Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. And um, it just was really, really well received. And I had, you know, I would travel all over the country. And this is 20 years ago. And people would say, oh my gosh, I, don't e I never knew a gay person before. I'm like, honey, have you never had highlights? Have you never been on a plane? Um, so it was really, it was wonderful. And all the great things that happened from that show and giving me a career... The best thing is when I meet young people like you who say, oh my gosh, that show made my coming out a little bit easier because my family watched it together and we had a dialogue and it wasn't a big deal and they thought you were cool. Um, so that's really, really great. And um, thank you. Can I, can I piggyback off that one, one little second? So one thing that I don't think Carson even knows, but a lot of the girls we talk about, so we, we, all, we get judged on the show and they critique us. Carson is one of the judges. Every time we walk out there, Carson picks up his glasses. He looks up your costume up and down. And Carson is so meticulous. He like, I appreciate the way that your designer did that silk charmeuse under the, like Carson really fucking goes in and he really pays respect and he's very sweet and very kind. But shady sometimes, you know what I mean? Because he has to be. But, like, but, but it's puckering there. But I see what you were trying to do. And it always means so much to the girls that you pay so much oh, attention gosh. to what we're wearing. And that's, you know. That's what I'm there to do. Because you guys, either you or your designer or whoever, has spent a lot of time and money and uh, blood, sweat, and tears to be there. So I love it. Uh, it's our job as judges to respect that. We don't have to like it. Yeah. But we certainly have to respect it. So I get it. It means a lot to the girls. It really does, Carson. Thank you. you. All right, we have another question over here. It's not so much a question, but Adora, I just want to say that I love your hog body. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, uh, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, it's not given what it's supposed to have gay. It, yeah, <laughs> it was. Yeah, that was that one was hard, my love. That was like. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> As she puts a piece of celery in her mouth. All right. Uh, Adore, you, you have celery on your mask. <laughs> What's your, your name Lesbian. and your question? 
Um, okay, my name is Hannah. My question is for a door. What's up? Um, hi. Um, I just want to say that I love dirty laundry. Thank you for blessing my eardrums. Um, Thank you. My question is, I've had this theory that I would like to confirm. It's a little nerdy. Um, for your song, Three Flowers, you had a line that said, uh, make sure you pack all your shit when you throw the last rose for me. And I was wondering if that was a nod to uh, Selena Quintanilla Perez. It was. In the best scene of the entire movie and I've had this theory and I just wanted to know if it was real. Um, first of all, thank you so much for recognizing that because it was and we were going to shoot the, the music video before I went on tour but I ended up like axing the video idea but it was going to be surrounded by that last scene when she forgot to catch the rose at the end. The I was literally... Thank you. I was, yeah. That's definitely like those two um, like pre choruses were definitely yeah. inspired by that last scene for sure. So thank you for clocking that. <laughs> she pays attention, honey. Uh, I know, I love she that. She went to school. We got a question over here. Hi, I'm Kagan from Kalamazoo, and in the spirit of international and assuming that teams could somehow work in a drag race setting, what international queen would you like to pair up with? Ooh. Bimini. Love that. <laughs> I just love her. Like she's just a party animal and just like naturally wild and weird and like I love I just love her whole vibe. Yeah. Anyone British because of the foreskin. <laughs> oh, she's drunk. <laughs> Do they have foreskins in Britain? Yes. Yeah. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, it's like there are parachutes what? over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have another one for you guys over here. Hi, my name's Yvette. Um, just a question. I know sometimes when judging, there's like a critique about costume. And I noticed like some of these queens, like I heard a comment like Halloween. So I was wondering like, what do you consider like costume? Like what's the line between drag and like costume? Like Oh, I mean, I think it needs to be, you know, the look should look one of a kind, and anytime it looks like something you could buy in a store, or it has a party city vibe, we're not going to like it. Yeah. Um, and I, I, it's a very fine line between costume and, like, I love camp, and I love things that have a sense of humor. And I think one of, like, the best, I don't know, like, just an example, like, um, I think it was Trinity had, like, this, like, teacup outfit on in All Stars when you guys won. Um, that was kind of costumey and almost looked like something from like Beauty and the Beast on Broadway, but it was also like so fashiony and so well articulated that it was amazing. So it's a very fine line, um, but I think it needs to be very, very custom and look like it was made for that queen. And I think that helps it not look like a costume and look like something that's campy, but perfect for that particular persona. Totally, okay, we got some more over here. Hi. Yeah, um, that. Bitch. <laughs> totally. You just RuPaul. That was huh? very RuPaul. Do you know that, that? That was very RuPaul, yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't mean Thank it like that. Thank you, next. Hi, my name is Lemon, and um, I was just wondering, I don't know if y'all are watching, but, like, um, are y'all rooting for anyone on Dragula this next season? I have not started oh. watching it. Is it out already? Is it out? It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Well, I will say, I now... Roscoe's was one of the first clubs to ever book me before I was ever on Drag Race. They booked me like as a local queen and to come here. And one of the first queens I ever met in Chicago was um, Sarah Andrews, who is Miss Britta Betty. So I, oh, isn't that her? Crickets, yeah. Yeah. So I'm not really for her. <laughs> the crowd goes no. mild. Crickets. Never mind. <laughs> Great story. Not your hometown being like, we don't know her. Your home <laughs> She's Damn, not from what here happened? originally. Did I miss something? What happened? Okay, y'all feel me. Okay, Just, never mind. Ooh, now yes. we're going to ask you the questions. What yeah, happened? It was, it's what yeah. <laughs> she's ooh. from Laporte. Got it. Yeah, she's never not mind. Isn't yeah, yeah, there two, aren't there two girls from Chicago? Oh, yeah, Sigourney Beaver. She's oh, fierce. Like also, also J, J. Jolie is on it. Oh, my God. It. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 J. Jolie is on J. it. J. Jolie is on it, which is pretty awesome. Oh, I, I thought that was cool. I just dynamic with that. That's going to be so fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have another question for you guys. Hi, uh, I'm Sydney. This one's for Monet. 
If you were have to go back in time and rename the pod, what would it be called? Oh, I, if, if I could go back in time and rename Sibling Rivalry, I would call it Bob the Bully. <laughs> because he's a big ogre bitch and he's a bully, okay? Look right into the camera. <laughs> because he's a, wait, wait, where's that? Because he's right a big there, ogre bitch and he's a bully. <laughs> We got one more over here. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Hi. Uh, what's the worst question you got at one of these meet and greets? I want to say it's the worst, but I think like something something people often ask me is like, where did you get your drag name from? I'm like, girl, I've answered that question so many times. Like, why would you waste that? And like, like you can find out anytime. Like, ask me something else. Like, right. do you really hate Trinity or so? You know what I mean? Like, ask me right. something. That you haven't heard asked before. Do you? Okay, but do you? Do you? No, I love Trinity. Yeah. She's great. She was great. here on Tuesday. We had a good time. Oh, was she? Do we have yeah. any other? Tuesday. Over here. Tuesday. It'll be easier for you to come. Uh. We got another one right over here for you guys. Hello, my name is Percy. My question is for both is of you. Oh, I'm okay. Now. Um, wait, me? Oh, sorry. No, you're fine. Oh, sorry. Uh, beside your season, what season would you would, would like to be on? Oh, that's a good question. Season five for me. <laughs> Ooh. Well, go. Not a lot of people know this, but I was supposed to be on season five, but I didn't have clothes. Um, <laughs> I still oh, really? didn't. Really? Yeah, I was. Oh, I was shit. like low key casted, but they were like, mm, well, let me watch. That was me on season nine. I really? Got, I, I, was, I was first round pick. They called me like, you didn't get on the show, but if anyone cancels, we'll call you. I'm like, no, bitch. Very hard. Not with one day. What really? is that? Season yeah. Five. And then season six, um, they had called, and then Sonique showed up to like my place and like just had a trunk full of drag and was like, here you go. And like all my iconic looks are Sonique's looks. Like the Budweiser was Sonique's. Wow. Like everything was Sonique's. Yeah, so like everything I wore down the runway was Sonique's like She's trash. like the Mother Teresa of drag. Yeah, so when I saw her up there, I was like, oh, bitch, it's your time, bitch. Like that's, that's like the universe being like, thank you for Absolutely. helping this trashy drag queen. You win. <laughs> no, really. I didn't have anything. Um, if it wasn't, if it was season 10, I would definitely like to be on season 11 because I would have won that one, bitch. <laughs> with all my shitty season 10 runways, I would have won season 11 without a doubt. <laughs> I'm kidding, they were fierce. <laughs> we have another question for you guys. I thought you had said the last one three questions ago. Let's go to <laughs> Hi, I'm Allie. Love you all. Hi, by the Allie. Way. Um, I want to know like how much you guys know ahead of time before you go on Drag Race. A lot of the times it seems like they're giving these categories out of the blue. How much do you guys come prepared with? How much is I random? have no idea. I just show up. I have oh. no idea. We just show up. <laughs> I remember like... Two weeks. No, I remember <laughs> like three weeks for me, I remember. or like, But I didn't have anything again. I was just like, Sonique, help me. But yeah. Yeah. Um, season ten, we had four weeks. It was like four weeks. Three. three I feel like the the, the later seasons have gotten. More. The show has gotten uh, the idea, not the idea, have um, realized mm -hmm. that when you give the girls more time yeah. and they shine and they're more beautiful, the show does better. No, you, yeah. there's no reason to give them less time because then they're less successful at what they're trying yeah. to do. So I think that now it's, because it was two weeks for us, literally, yeah, it was now, two weeks. Now I think the standard's like four weeks now. That's what you get. Because also, because again, these girls are coming down on, on this runway in fucking couture garments, okay? These things are custom made for their bodies. And so, and that takes time to make, to make it look good and to make it fit great. So I think that the show has realized that. So they give the girls more time so you can bring your best you. So you can't be like, well, I didn't have enough time. Like you, you, you bring the best of yourself to be judged by fucking RuPaul, Michelle Visage, Carson Kressley, Ross Matthews, and whatever's fucking celebrity. So I think the show has realized that. And four weeks, I think, is a standard now, I, I believe. So I no. think it's safe to say like every four years, they give you another week. <laughs> True. Not to mention a lot of girls use the same designer. Exactly. Um, which gives them more time. Unless you are the ridiculously talented Raja O'Hara and you make all your own Gag. shit. Gag! How about Gaggy. that? That is Gaggy. just everything. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we have, right oh, we have, oh, yeah. we do. Oh, Waiting yeah. so patiently. Oh, okay, yeah. Hi, my name is Jake and my question's mostly for Carson, but if the ladies have any strong opinions, please butt in. Um, please tell me your favorite Met Gala look. Oh, my favorite Met Gala look this year? I mean, I, this you know, year. I like beauty. 
Um, and I know there are many like artistic interpretations with the theme, um, but I loved, um, I liked Kendall Jenner, I liked Iman, uh, I liked, um, oh gosh, I can't remember. I liked um, Shawn Mendes. I was like, girl. <laughs> Oh, thank you for that. It's giving share. Uh, yeah. How about you guys? It was mine. Was that that black model? I, and I don't know his name. That beautiful, tall black model. He was in like the white and the pearl. Y'all know oh, with the about? pearl boots. The pearl boots. Yes. He, he looked. Yes. He was like he was divine. He looked like some like some type of deity or something. I also liked M J Rodriguez from Pose. I thought I, see her. I, I like when people look gorgeous and chic at the same time, and not necessarily like you know. Kim Kardashian looked like it was like a Dr. Fauci Oh, that outfit. was my favorite. Oh, was it? <laughs> okay, really? okay, here's the thing. I she heard about that, like and Corona. I saw this girl on TikTok did a whole dissertation about Tim Ryan. And, and it was not, like, like, the reason shit. why she did that is because she was like, I am American culture. Yeah. I don't need to dress up as anything. Everyone knew exactly who I was. Right, I didn't have to do silhouette. anything. And I was like, damn. It was genius. Kind of it was genius. literally genius. It was genius. It was, it was pretty awesome. Oh, I loved Kim Kardashian. All right, with that said, <laughs> please make some noise for Monet Exchange, Adora Delano, Adora Delano, and Carson Cressley. I'll see you at Nuts on Clark. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget that next week we have... Olivia Lux. And... Scarlet Envy. Yeah. <laughs> So be sure to join us next week. And tomorrow, you will see these two lovely ladies with myself on stage at 10 p.m. Showtime, 10 p.m. So come on by and have a good time with us here. Like, you can only party where at Roscoe's, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nisha Lopez. And I am Batty Davis. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. us tonight. Thank Bye, you, YouTube! Roscoe's! Thank you, YouTube! <laughs>